Hello there, welcome to your June 2019 paper here. We're looking at core paper one. So we're on question one here. Uh, we've got a function f of z equals this expression here, where a, b, c, and d are real constants. Given that minus one plus two i and three minus i are two roots of the equation, f of z equals zero, show all the roots of f of z equals zero on a single argon diagram. So for part a, if we have minus 1 plus 2i as a root, then it must also follow the complex conjugate is also a root, so 1 minus 2i must be a root. And if 3 minus i is a root, for the exact same reason, the complex conjugate is a root as well, 3 plus i. So real quick, draw the diagram, not too long for this question here, minus 1 plus 2i, so that will be up here, minus 1 plus 2i, minus 1 minus 2i, And then the next one's 3 plus i. And then the next one's 3 minus i. And there we are, that's the answer for part A. Moving on to part B now, find the values of A, B, C and D. OK, well I'll find the quadratic for 1, minus 1, um, sorry, this is minus 1, minus 1 plus 2i, minus 1 minus 2i, and then I'll find the quadratic for 3 minus i and 3 plus i, and then just combine the two quadratics together. So it's going to be x equals, or z rather, I'll put z, z equals minus 1 plus or minus 2i. If I add the 1 onto the other side, I get z plus 1 equals, now plus or minus um, 2i is going to be plus or minus the square root of minus 4. That might be helpful to think of it like that, uh, because 2 squared is 4, i um, is the square root of minus 1, so when you put 2 inside the square root, it's square root of 4, i is already inside the square root of minus 1, so it's the square root of minus 4. Then it's square both sides, so it's going to be z plus 1 squared equals minus 4. It doesn't matter whether it's plus or minus the square root of minus 4, when you square it, it's just going to become minus 4. And then it's going to become z squared plus 2z, add the 4 into the other side and you get 5 equals 0. Let's do that exact same process for the 3 plus i and the 3 minus i. z equals 3 plus or minus i. Move the 3 onto the other side, so it's z minus 3 equals the square root of minus 1. Square both sides, you're going to get z minus 3 squared equals minus 1. And then move everything onto the same side, z squared minus 6z plus 9, but plus the 1 plus 10 equals 0. So let's now combine these two quadratics together, z squared plus 2z plus 5 multiplied by z squared minus 6z plus 10 equals, it's going to equal 0, and now let's expand it, z to the 4, on the z cubed it's going to be 2z cubed minus 6z cubed, so that would be minus 4z cubed, on the z squared it's going to be minus 12z squared from the 2z and the minus 6z, it's going to be 10z squared from the 10z squared, 10 times the z squared, and 5z squared, so 15 minus 12, that would be plus 3z squared, and then for the z, it's going to be minus 30 plus 20, so that'll be minus 10z, and then plus 50 equals 0. And there we are, that's the value of a, b, c, and d. a equals minus 4, b equals 3, c equals minus 10, and d equals 50. So there we are, that's the answer for this question here, that's worth 9 marks in total for question 1. Let's now move on to question 2.